my colleague, Sri J.D. Seelam, Revenue Secretary, Chairperson, Central Board of Excise and Customs, members of the Central Board of Excise and Customs. This is one of a series of meetings that we are holding to explain the scheme and urge as many of you or your clients to take advantage of the scheme. I'll take only about five or seven minutes and then we have about 50 minutes for interaction. The service tax is no different from the earlier sales tax and now that. Unfortunately, in the public mind, while sales tax was accepted and that was accepted, there's still some doubt about service tax. What is the service tax? Why are they taxing it? There is really no difference. If A sells something to B, it is liable to sales tax. If A provides a service to B, that is liable to service tax. In one case, it is goods which are being sold. In the other case, it is a service that is being sold or provided. India's GDP nearly 57% is the service sector. So we cannot but tax services just as we tax goods. I think in course of time, this lingering doubt in the minds of people will vanish and people will learn to accept that just as sale of goods is liable to tax, providing services is also liable to tax. When we introduce service tax, it is a conscious decision not to import the harsh provisions of the excise law. We could have copied the excise law, we didn't. You know, this was a new tax, this was on services, people have to get used to the idea that providing services is liable to tax and therefore we deliberately adopted a benign attitude. We did not import the harsh and there are written instructions from the government to the department that the tax is to be administered in a benign manner. It had its benefits. 17 lakh persons voluntarily registered on a service tax. That's not a small number. On the excise, for example, the number of excise assessees is only about 130,000 or 140,000. But in service tax, we have 17 lakh assessees. So we are all very happy that a large number of people have registered and they are going to pay tax. In fact, they started paying tax, many of them. But what we found over the years and what we found in February this year is that of the 17 lakh SSCs, only 7 lakh actually pay tax. 10 lakhs do not pay tax. Now either they have never paid the service tax or they paid it for a while and stopped paying service tax. 